Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. This is what's coming up on today's show, and today I'm joined by the guys and Rob Warehan from Tungaloy. Welcome to the show, Rob. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Good, Good to see you, all. you, Rob. Good yeah. to see you. Good to see you again, Gerald. <laughs> is it now, really? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Um, right, so you say that you're the best kept secret in the industry for cutting tools. What, why is this? Um, well, I genuinely believe that's the case. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about Tungaloy. Gerald, don't speak too much because I know that I've told you everything. <laughs> but, you know, tell me what you know about Tungalo yourselves. You've been God, in the industry a long time. I wonder why you brought me in here today. Yeah, Trip that's what up. it is. <laughs> um, Japanese company. Well Warren done. Buffett owns it. And you have a huge variety of cutting tools for the industry. Okay, you've done, someone's done the research. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very popular product. Mm -hmm. uh, like you see here. Um, you know, do, what is the range? You tell us. You see, you trip me up. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> okay. How much have you told them there? I think no, they know a bit too much. We don't listen to him, even if he does. Really? <laughs> uh, no, um, but for me, it's, uh, as you say, it's been um, 1930s in Japan. That's where it all started. Um, to be honest with you, most of that time, it's been kept within East, East Asia. So you know, there's a big population there, a lot of industry over there. And until Warren Buffett brought the company out in 2009, that's when the Tungalo has been unleashed properly across mm. the globe. Um, it has been present in the UK for, for many years, but without a, a real base. So, you know, we've had that they used to have a relationship with, with distributors and there was no presence as an entity in, in the UK. But now that's all changed and Hopefully 2018 will be um, a big stepping stone for us to get further developed into the, into the marketplace, really. But didn't, didn't you say 2017 was a, a good year for you? So you say 2018, but it started last year, didn't it? It was. Um, last year we grew 37% in the UK, which it, it is very good growth. I'm sure <laughs> most people will be happy with that, but uh, we're aiming for even better this year. And hopefully meeting you guys and working with you guys will um, help us get there, really. So more growth. A lot more growth, but let's not put a number on it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure or anything. You know what? I think this is a little bit of a generic question for me yeah. to ask, and I do apologise. No but problem. People will be watching. They might know about your product. They yeah. might not know. Uh, may not know. But what makes you so good? What differentiates you from your competition? Good question, Lindsay. Mm. That's a very good question. Can I come back to yours on my card as well? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a great question, and it is an industry where you've got probably ten very good competitors in the UK market that have been here for 40 plus years mm. and if you have a look at our catalogue here it's a big catalogue yeah. everyone's got a good catalogue big range uh, so what does set us apart and really it's one thing is we've got an excellent relationship with our distributors um, if you've got good partners you'll be successful and so we've hand selected the people we want to work with the most technical distributors out there mm. and that's definitely working. So that that's a big part of our growth last year. And that gives backup for anyone who's buying your product. You've got that backup, you've got that strength and support. Mm. What about the products? So then the products itself. Um, when you say the word Japan, Japanese, what do you think? You know, it's very, it's considered a technical country mm. and no different with cutting tools. Um, they're very good at looking at what's, what's happening in the industry, you know, so, and then, producing a product based on the customer's needs. So let's, these are a few of our products on, on the desk. Are they all produced in Japan then? Yes, yeah. that's right. And all of these are designed in Japan as well. Um, the, if, if you look at this, uh, we've got do feed, which I don't want to go too much because I've got, got technical, technical corner. Yeah. So, I don't. Yeah. so I just want to really highlight some of our products. So for instance, nowadays people are either looking to be more economical or how quick can you make something? Mm. And that's what you have to listen to. You have to listen to the customer's needs. And so we've probably got, this is our high feed catalog, and we've probably got eight different high feed products, but do feed is by far our flagship product, I would say. Mm. The results that we're having that against anybody who, who's up against us are phenomenal. Um, then we're looking at, if you want to look at economical, you've got our, our 90 degree shoulder milling system, um, tongue try. That's a three cornered instead of two corners. So the traditional mm -hmm. 90 degree cutter will have two cutting edges. We've got three. So that just adds a 33% more uh, e economical to the customer. Mm -hmm. um, and then just one other product. We've got um, our tongue six drill. 
So that's a, a U drill, indexable insert, and it's the only one on the market that's got six cutting edges. So that's, that's again. Economy how, again. How yeah. many products are there in total? <coughs> I mean, you've got, obviously got, just got five there. Yeah. What uh, would we be talking? Uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you exactly because <laughs> every day it's evolving. Mm. Um, but as you can see that catalog, there's over 20,000 product lines in that catalog. You could do turning, grooving, milling, drilling, um, and we even do spindle nose tooling as well. Yeah, it's interesting. If we'd been sat here five, certainly ten years ago, none of those tools would probably be there, would they? Mm. It'd just be ISO tooling yep. inserts. That's yeah. what you were known for. That's right. The company started off as a turning company, and, and today that's still our strongest suit. Um, we've got the biggest range across all of our competitors. We've got the biggest variation of chip breakers and grades than anybody. Now, some people can say, you've got too many, but it isn't the case because we've got very good general grades. So if you want something for steel, we've got fantastic um, pro uh, grade. If you've got something for stainless, but then also if you, something just doesn't quite right, you need something particular for a grade. For this job for some reason mm -hmm. isn't cutting the same. The material might not be quite as pure as what you thought it was going to be. We've got every variety you can have. I don't think you can have too much in this industry yeah. because everybody's individual requirements you know, are different from the next. That's it. So one more thing as well. Yep. You're saying you've got a great product economically, everything performance-based, yep. but anyone who's watching, and how can you prove that? Um, the proof the pudding's in the eating, really. You know, put us to the test. You can just, oh, sorry I'm mentioning food, I know you're hungry, <laughs> hungry for. <laughs> but um, so yeah, realistically, it is just get in touch with us at one of our distributors and arrange a trial. It's risk free. At the end of the day, if, if it doesn't perform how you want it to perform, what's it going to cost you apart from giving us the time to prove it? So, give any you product, that? ring you up, I wanna, I've got a problem with this, I want to try, yeah. try, you come in, of course, use the product. Yeah. Not a problem, just give us a call and we're, we're looking forward to uh, getting Confidence. more inquiries. It's good, we've had a lot of people on, on this show, nobody said my product's rubbish. <laughs> so, you've mm -hmm. got to prove it, haven't you? Exactly, that's it. You, know, you can only take someone's word you know, at the end of the day without trying it yourselves. You're not going to be a believer, are you? You can kind of believe it, but you know, put them to the test. But do, do you think that engineers are complacent with their purchases of tooling and their suppliers? Do, do you think that they just kind of bury their heads in the sand to the fact that there are other options out there? Yeah, I think it's human nature to be comfortable with what you're used to. Mm. So, and some people, why change it if it's not broken? Mm. Now, if you've got a cutter that's doing, you know, five parts per edge, and you think five parts, it's always done that, you think, yeah, well, that's good. Mm. But there might be a product that does 20 parts per edge. But because yeah. you're just so used to five parts per edge being mm. what you're expecting <laughs> to do. That's a bit like your eight minute abs, isn't it? <laughs> because there was a six minute abs that came out as well. <laughs> two, two second abs. <laughs> Not talking about you and your stomachs, right. guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so realistically, you know, for, for me, what, what, what I'll give you my experience. When I, I started working Tungloy last year, so uh, I got a phone call saying, would you be interested in this? And I've worked in the industry for many years, and uh, like most people watching this video, I'd heard of the brand. Mm. I didn't know anything about the brand, so I'm there, clicked on the website. Okay, that's a better website than I thought it was going to be. Mm. That looks like a big company. It's worth Just, visiting, actually. It's a good it site. is. Yeah. Uh, I'll put the link below. Mm. And um, then you click on the company video, Okay, the production straight away hits you and think, this is like a big company mm. video. And then you start looking through the catalogue and, and, I, and then also I was thinking, well, how do I not know more about this brand? Mm. And then I'm like, well, this is like the best kept secret. This is a sleeping giant. So, of mm. course, I jumped at the opportunity to come and work at Tongaloy and, and, and lucky enough to be mm. managing director of the company. Uh, and then from then, I, I guess that was still a leap of faith. It mm. was, well, the products look good but I haven't got my experience. I don't know how good they are. And touch wood, so far, it's unbelievable. I, I'm actually blown away myself at how good the products actually mm. are because, because I've worked, my background is distri distribution. I've worked with all my competitors and I know they've, all got, I know they've got good products. So yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and say our products are 100% the best and no one's got any good products. Everyone's got good products, but that makes it even more so how I can see how much this is blowing competition away. And you away. say yeah. the proof is in the pudding. It is. There's, there's a big driver these days on uh, deliveries, how quick you can get 
uh, tooling management of tooling yeah. and stuff like that. Is that something, you know, you say these are produced in Japan, but do yeah. you carry all the products all, here all, readily available? Yeah, the, it, it's like pretty much everybody nowadays. We've Inserts, got, it, cutter bodies. What there's it? a European warehouse that delivers next day delivery. Incredible, That's, isn't it? All, all of our competitors are the same. Mm -hmm. You know, there's very, if anyone is stocking in the UK who's, who are a global company, you're very and few and far between these days. There's no point, is there? No, there's and not. You, you, know, you can still get it there next day, deliver it. And you often find when we're on shows like this, people are always thinking, they're watching, they're thinking, well, what's the price? You know, we're talking about how good mm. these products are. But are they competitively priced as well? Very competitively priced as yeah. well. Um, what I would say is come and speak to either us, you know, get in touch with Tumblr directly um, or speak to one of our distributors. Give us a call. We'll tell you who our, our distributors are, mm. trained experts in our products. So it's like they're part of our family. Mm -hmm. That's how we see. You work quite closely with them, don't Very you? Very closely. And, you know, so we know that they can sell our product. It's not the matter of just going and giving someone. If you're going to go and sell our high feed system, it's not the same as selling an ISO turning insert. Mm -hmm. You know, it, and so you need someone who really knows how to get the best at the product. And you, and you have and got reps, haven't you? You've talked a lot about oh, the strip, but you've still got direct. We, yeah. We've still got our, our own um, application engineers who support mm -hmm. the customer the distribution so it, it, it's a very good model that we've got and obviously when you we get growing as fast as we are um that's going to grow right well what, can oh, i just ask one more go question on. what's the ideal call for you then into into the company uh, an engineer that's got an issue with cutting maybe a certain material or has a certain machine is is there is you say you're the best kept secret but what yeah. is if someone was watching this what would what would you like them to phone you up and say they've got a problem with what's the best thing you can solve um I don't want to keep going about high feed, but you know what we're finding is it used to be uh, mold and dye industry was a big user of high feed but metal that, removal. But that that product is being used across a million ranges. You know, don't just think that this is oh well high feed for this. So You're high surprised. feed, high feed milling. Yep. Yeah. Metal removal. Metal removal. If you've got any turning with CBN, is we're one of the only actual manufacturers of CBN in the world. Um, so we're very strong on mm -hmm. that. We've with um, turning and is all these things any, any related material. down to the insert or the, the cutter bodies or is it a collective of the two collective of the two so, really it, it's always how can you innovate that product more there's there's only so many things that you can there's already a shoulder million there's only so many applications so when's the last time an actual new tool came out mm. it's always how can you make a better version of mm. that yeah so we put all our efforts in making the best version possible and luckily our R&D mm. R&D in Japan are excellent mm. at doing that and some people might buy a new machine tool trying to improve productivity when really it's by adopting tool. new technologies it's, it's, on the cutting, cutting tools. tools it's never more than five percent of the operation yeah. cost but it's the easiest way of saving money mm. you know don't save money on the insert cost run the insert quicker get new technology yeah. and get the part off quicker but just finally yeah. on high feed i'm looking down here you've got do feed do twist ball mill quad feed do feed you've got loads haven't you Tongue he knows it all. i know he does he knows it all Obviously, you can yeah, be a reference really yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not well, very good at names we're going to well, find I just, it oh, I just see that's the catalogue so yeah. if, you, if you are interested in high feed we've got our own individual catalogue that, that can be sent out to you not a problem right well we'll come back to you as well because okay. we've got a chance for you to get involved because we've got a cycle time challenge and when we come back you guys are going to head over to technical corner cycle time challenge Yep, thanks guys. Right, for this week's Cycle Time Challenge, I'm in Harlow, I'm at TK Fabrications, I'm with Sam Howlett. Sam, before we uh, tuck into this part, tell us uh, in a few words about the company. Uh, we've been going for nearly 40 years and we machine any types of plastic or composite, all sizes. And you machine it pretty productively as well, which we're going to find out, not today what the time is, but in, a, in next week's show. Uh, firstly, before we talk about the part, this is yep. the machine you make it on, which is the Fanat Robo Drill High Speed Machining Centre, yeah? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, now tell us about what the part, what it is, and uh, how you go about making it. Okay, it's um, a C tool, it's cut to size, width and length. It's 25mm stock that needs facing to thickness. It's five quarter MPT tapped holes, a 3 8 BSPP tapped hole, drilled almost through. Um, there's two M4 tapped holes that we get to through the quarter MPT and that's it, job done. It looks like a simple part but there's one thing I think needs to be considered in this is about the, is about the uh, material, the remnant material coming out isn't it while yep. you're machining because that might mean you have to back off on the speeds and feeds. Yes, with the, uh, with the tapped holes we tap them all twice just to really spring cut and get rid of 
any material that gets bound up in there, although we use the through air, which clears most of it out. Um, yeah, there's a few dwells on the drilling. That's about it. Okay, so if you want to win yourself a Swarf and Chips goodie bag, uh, we've had some really complicated parts recently. This is much simpler, uh, so you've got a far better opportunity of winning. How fast does it take uh, TK Fabrications to make this component? Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. That's great. Technical Corner. Hi, welcome to Technical Corner. I'm joined by Steve today from Tungaloy, and today Steve is going to talk us through a number of their award-winning products. Take it away. Yeah, um, Joe, Tungaloy is renowned as a one-stop supplier of tooling. Um, everything from drilling right through to grooving. So we've got a full product range available for you. Um, we've got our drilling range, which involves indexable drills and changeable headed drills. We've also got our milling systems, which involves high feed and standard face mills, mm -hmm. along with high feed indexable end mills and the uh, standard indexable end mills. Sure. If I just pick a couple, th this um, you have to forgive me for the names, but this one here, this drill, got six edges unique to the industry. Yeah, we, we call that Tung, Tung Drill 6, which is, as you say, unique to the industry mm -hmm. with six cutting edges for econ economics and strength. Okay, and this face mill here, we've actually got three different types of inserts. We've got a button, we've got, is, is that an Octi mill? and also a four, or an eight-sided four-edged insert. Yeah, so the Tungaloy triple mill is a relatively new cutter to our range, and as you rightly say, it has three different styles of insert all fit into the same pocket. We've got round, we've got octagonal, and we've got square inserts. So reduced infantry, cut, um, tool holders are expensive. Yep, absolutely. It gives you the option for, to have uh, effectively three cutters in one. Sure. And near high feed, you've got six seven different systems so which is this one yeah this is what we call our do do feed series this comes in multiple ranges of insert size which allows different depths of cut depending on again pr uh, application and diameter of the cutter yeah so what materials would this because obviously it used to be mold and dye but those days are gone now so where, where does tungaloy see their high feed range yeah as, as you say high, high feed used to be do, uh, mold and dye predominantly but uh, we're finding that high feed now is finding its out way into all aspects of, of engineering uh, materials and therefore we've had to bring out grades to suit all. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, and the, and the cam lock system drill? Yeah, the cam lock system drill is predominantly for precision drilling. Um, we would suggest that you would normally use this instead of solid carbide for redu reduced cost but still giving you the same precision and, and rigidity. Okay, and just finally, when I got into engineering too long ago to remember, I knew Tungaloy for a turning business, but that's not necessarily the case anymore. But you've also, you know, you've still got that vast range. Yeah, uh, Tungaloy was predominantly known as a as a uh, turning company with a drilling range. That has changed massively over the last five or six years. In particular, with regards to our milling range, we've really worked on our milling range and extended that beyond the bog standard fa face mill. Does that mean you've forgot about the turning inserts? Absolutely not. We br we're constantly updating our grades and chip breakers to suit uh, modern requirements of machining. And in terms of CBN turning, is that your own product or a sourced product? CBN is, is a manufactured product by Tungaloy, okay. um, which makes us relatively unique within the industry. Mm -hmm. There are a few other manufacturers that produce their own CBN, mm -hmm. and Tungaloy is one of them on that list. Is, th is that an advantage to, to Tungaloy? Absolutely. It gives us um, quality control, um, also it enables us to offer m multiple grades and edge preparations to suit the application. And just finally, uh, indexable end mill, that's a, is that the tri mill, the tongue tri? Yeah, the tongue, tongue tri. Um, it's three-sided insert, mm -hmm. uh, so that gives you three cutting edges for economy, but still gives you the traditional 90-degree cut that customers require. Okay, so in terms of a 90-degree insert, a, a traditional two-sided insert, you know, in terms of the location, which is better? The traditionally uh, cu cu customers use the Lodginder style yeah. insert, which gives you two cutting edges. Tungaloy have decided to go down the route of a triangular insert because it gives you better location within the pocket, a much more rigid location, but more also gives you reliability. Absolutely, yeah, reliability, uh, true ninety degrees, and of course you get the added advantage of an extra edge. Okay, yeah, so you've got the economy and more process mm. stability. Thanks, Steve. And I'm pleased to say they're staying behind after the show. We're going to do these products in a bit more detail. So if you want to learn more about any of the Tungaloy range of products, stay tuned to MTD TV. Back to the studio. Well done to Steve at Technical Corner. Well done to you, Joe. Did you learn well, a lot? Thank you. 
No, I knew it all already. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I you just, didn't because you didn't at the beginning. <laughs> good product. Yeah. Yeah, good product. The do feed, I know we've talked about high feed, but the do feed, it's a very good product. Mm. See lots of it in the field as well. So, okay, so what's 2018 got in store for you then, Rob? Hopefully um, more success, follow on from last year's success. Um, we're going to be having technical days. Okay. Um, we're, we're just arranging them now, so I can't give you a date, but look out for uh, further information. Uh, we'll publish that on our, our LinkedIn account. Um, we've also have got a YouTube account as well that people can go and see products and things that we've uh, done at customers. How does technical days work? What were you going to be actually demonstrating the products? So what we want to do is the first one will be in Wolverhampton. Um, that's where our base is. So um, best location to have. And what we're trying to do is look at our customers, look at their, you know, what are they doing and make sure the demonstration is relative to them. Else, otherwise, if I just put on something that I think is our best product, mm. but it's no relative, not relative to that customer, what's the point? Yeah. So we're really going to make sure that those, it, it's new innovation, but to suit the customer's needs. And do you have a machine tool in, in Wolverhampton then? Do you we're isn't? not. Joe is uh, working with me to find um, uh, the, the right location. We think we found one, haven't we, Joe? Yeah. And so, yeah, as I say, we, we can't reveal too much Nothing. yet. Oh. Um, mm. But a good day, really good day. We're looking mm. forward to it. So. And I know you've got your e-catalogue online. Do a lot of people use this or what are the to be honest ways with you, that people find you out? You have got shop floor people do like I have a catalogue there that can flick through. Obviously, not everyone's got a, an iPad <laughs> that they can get out uh, with the dirty hands. But it's becoming a lot more popular. A lot more people are going online. And as well as that, we've got our, our app, Dr. Mm -hmm. Carbide, which can help you. Not Dr. Pepper, no. Uh, I think they were <laughs> relatives, but no. Uh, food and Dr. drink. Dr. Carbide. Yeah, Dr. Food Carbide. And drink every single time. <laughs> no, so you, you can go on there and it will help you pick the right product for the application, whether it be drilling, milling, turning, grooving. You know, you put in there what you're trying to do and it will water down that 20,000 products down to the right few products. Mm -hmm. It might be that there's a, you know, a solid drill that would be the best or it might be an indexable one and offer you the options really so i'd recommend download it and have a look at it mm. yeah good app actually good app. you met with warren uh, if only hopefully uh mr buffett might watch this and invite me he phoned you <laughs> no <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> um, i don't think it, it, it'll be phoning me but uh, to be <laughs> honest after another rep he might yeah. Fantastic. Every sales manager. There you go. <laughs> no, I, I, he's a very fascinating person, and it was a big draw to working with the company. To be honest with you, if you uh, know much about him, he's a very interesting character. Yeah. Mm. How do you want people to get in touch with you then going forward? Well, hopefully below this video, you'll you'll put some links to yeah. our website, and on our website, you'll be able to find out more about the company for one, about our products, Good idea, all, all the tools. I know it is, <laughs> and um, all the products that we've got available. And get in touch with us, whether it be, or, 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 you know, give us a call or an email. And we're happy to help customers directly. But, you know, we really try and work. If, if say, if you're in Newcastle, you know, it's better to be have someone who's working nearby. Mm. So that's why we do have the value of our, our partnerships, really. So make sure that that customer can get technical help anytime mm -hmm. so you know you can only be so many places in one time so if you've got people who can react quickly yes and have stock available mm. to get there quickly as well mm. it just means that you've spread the company mm. across the the, 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 the country the country mm. yes. free trial of course yeah of course yeah so Why wouldn't you and the exactly. proof is in the pudding and it's not a jam sponge i hope we've got some puddings after <laughs> now but, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Hang on, yeah. I'm just being told that was a terrible gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining no us. No problem. Rob. Thanks a lot for uh, having me. A pleasure. And as we always do now, is you've got your Swarf and Chips goodie bag. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Yes. And what we would like you to do is wear some of the, you know, the hats and everything, and put it on your LinkedIn the account. Merch. The wear merch. Wear some of the merch. merch. Put it on your social merch. media account. I was yeah. going to put them on eBay. Sweet but, merch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. That's where Thanks we got it from. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to watch any of the previous episodes, click on the links here. Don't forget to get involved with the Cycle Time Challenge and put your guesses in the comments box below. And as we always say, keep those spindles turning.